Come hear me, little Jackie. No, I've smoked me bucky. Have a bit of cracky till the boat comes in. Dance to the daddy, sing to the mummy. Dance to the daddy, to the mummy, sing. Thou shalt have the fishy on a little dishy. Thou shalt have the fishy when the boat comes in. Nurkium. One, two, three. Paper and paper, Nurkium. One, two, three. This is good paper, you lose. Right, Titch, you get the bottles. How do we manage to cinch? Look here, we scan God, mate. Fancy getting one, you're daft now. We're getting off, we're happy. I thought I heard someone coming. Uh... Yeah, give away one, yeah, yellow belly. Well, you can get one. Mm, not just yet, we're going to get that one. Were you born to feel that? Huh? I said, were you born to feel? The door, lad, the door. Put a block of wood in the hole. Huh? You want the deposit or are you going to spend it? Huh? Aye, what? Aye, sir. No, you daft lump. Do you want to happen here? Are you going to spend it? I want to spend it, sir. Yeah. Look, don't call me, sir. You're not at school now. What do you want? I want to spend it. Oh, you got it, that. What on? It's in that tubby. How much you get for the happening? Pack it like that. What you want to happen You cheeky beggar. You got the back of my hand in a minute. Do you want it or not? Yes. Yes, what? Yes, sir. Yes, please, is what I want to hear, you daft lump. How do we afford clash your one? Door! Shoving about? I don't know. The band's the deal. They've got neither nose nor manners. They're not get far shoving at them. They're buying toffee. There's no <laughs> wrong with that. Oh, my goodness. There's something sweet in the shop. I beg your pardon? Nothing, Bill. It's the bottle. Oh, Sarah. See you later, Hello, Mr. Seaton. Why yeah. isn't it cold? Be warm if you shut the door. Why? Can you turn your mind? Yeah, not last time where you're picking it. Plenty more where I came from. Who made it, Tom? No way, I'm Jamie Red, Tommy. No count it. One, two, three. Two shillings, no deal. Will you add a shilling to that bill, Mr. Seaton? What? Uh, I owe you a shilling. You owe me a shilling? Aye, since before Christmas it was, Mr. Seaton let me have a few things when I was flat. Christmas Eve it was. Oh, she did, did she? But I always like to get me debts played before the new year. I hate going into the new year with a debt on my conscience. Well, it's not right, is it? No. It's not right. And it won't happen again. Oh, no, no, it won't. I'm sorry, Mr. Seaton. I thought Mr. Seaton would have told you. Uh, good night, Mr. Seaton. Happy New Year, Mr. Seaton. Bella! Hey, what do you want? I'll be sitting coffee, mister. Yeah. So, Happy New Year, mister. And how long have you been giving tick? Me, giving tick? Listen, woman, you're no damn fine. There's no tick in this shop. So what are you playing at? I've not given any tick. Listen, I've just had a wifey Mrs. Watson in over the street there paying me a shun. She's owed since before Christmas. Oh, Sarah. Why, that's not tick. Not with Sarah. You cannot call that tick. Sarah, Why Robinson. the hell not? Why, she's as straight as a die, is Sarah. If you'd have shoved off her back if you were short, cannot call that tick. I cannot do in any man's language. That's tick. You've got it back, haven't you? What? The shilling. Aye. So what's all the fuss about? Well, I'll not have tick in this shop here. Tick, 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 ding, dong, ding, dong. I know about tick. Miserable old. Hey, that's funny. Uh, what do you want? Send us off you, please, mister. So help me a bag. Got a bottle? Put it down and help yourself. Where did you get that bottle? Found it, missus. Aye, in the back lane, back of the shop. Oh, that's where they're coming from. Come here, lad. Catch him, Bella. Go on, I've got him, the villain. What, I hope he'd be two blocks away be now. Go on, I'll... I'll flay the skin off the backside. How do we infect the bullets? Even rascals. Go on, how do we infect the bullets? For three happens a toughie. Hard have we, Bill. Did you never pinch up when you were, Bill? You're a bit of being robbed right, left and centre. My old wife will do another hand stand to stop it. Well, I'll tell you what, Bill. You can put it on the slate. 
Hello, Billy, what are you doing here? Something the dignity of labour. Would it be two pints? Right. Please. Aye, ah, right. one for yourself. And clean glasses, mine. I'll remind you, sir. This is a hotel, not a public house. Our glasses are always clean. Come off it. Here full time for holiday. No such luck. I've got one day at Christmas. There's tonight and tomorrow dinner time, and that's me finished. <laughs> Still a bobble tool coming, Andy. You're right there. Anyway, what are you doing here? It's not one of your boozers. No, but I'm looking after Sandy Lewis here. Sandy, this is Billy Seaton, another of your crazy socialists. Hello, Sandy. Oh, hi. Sandy's down from Glasgow for the meeting tonight. What, the corporal? Hi. He's a speaker. Since when have you been interested in political meetings? I have been officially delegated by the branch committee to look after the speaker. Anyway, I can do with a laugh. Satisfied? Right, well, don't fall asleep in the speeches. Wish I could get that, Sandy. I hope it'll be more than the unemployed. I've got to try and get more than that, you know. Will be mostly. A few keen union men, I suppose. It's New Year's Eve, you know. Hey, they've got to do one upstairs. Annual New Year's Eve dinner of the Conservative and Unionist Women's Association. Oh. Terrible competition for you, Sam. I know, they'll get all the passing trade. <laughs> have they got a speaker and all? Oh, yes. Richard Hart. Yeah. Oh, him. He was the Tory candidate in the last election. Was the Liberal got in? Oh, yeah. Labour man made a good shot. Hello, Tom. What are you having? Oh, uh, hey, get us a pint in, will you? Yeah, gather on the clowns tonight. Hi. I'll be Tom, with you in a sec. Tom, the box that way. Oh, never mind. You'll find out soon enough. How's your mark keeping? Oh, fair enough. You're dark playing up. I've not seen him smile once since I got home. Well, you'll survive. Look, Billy, I've got to find Sandy a bed for tonight. Um, we can't swing a cat at our place. Well, Dolly's got a tram of relatives coming over from Gateshead to see the new year in. You don't suppose... Uh... Right, Mum, I'll have no objection, I'm sure. And you do? I'll get him, I'll get him. Isn't it time you closed up? It's gone half past eight. Aye, I suppose you're right. It's gone very quiet. It's a lovely smells. Ham and peace pudding. I always have ham and peace pudding New Year's Eve. You know what are you wrapping it up for? Taking it to Jessie's for later. To Jessie's? Why the hell can't she make her own? She's married now. She'll have to learn. Well, you'll get your share if that's what you're worried about. We can't afford to make two lots of ham and peace pudding. I'm not making two lots. Then how do I get my share? At Jessie's. What do you mean at Jessie's? I've all been invited to Jessie's to see the New Year in. I'm not going to Jessie's. Oh, my hell going to Jessie's. I'll see the new year in here like we've always done. Well, you can if you want, but not me. Well, what about the band? Very well, if you're stopping here, you Like can... hell, I'm going down to the pub. That's no, all right. Our Tom's already collected him. Take him to Jessie's. What's got into you, woman? Look, we always have our new years. You yours. seem to forget we haven't got the front room anymore. What kind of entertain in here? Oh, I know. It's comfortable enough. But I'll borrow a few chairs off next door. Well, borrow nothing off nobody. I've spent the last 364 days in this damn kitchen. I'm spending the last one somewhere different. And I could stand it a lot easier if I had a man that smiled once in a while. What the hell have I got to smile about? Oh, I'm sorry. Just don't want to go to old Jesse's. Doesn't seem right. You go if you want. Only wheel me down the pub post. It's on your way. Hey, we could have a sing song like the old days. You could do your patsy, Oliver. Sing song, how we woman get your coat on. We'll make down for a pint. I'll we'll bring it back. And I'll find somebody. Hey, I'll tell you what. I'll wheel you down to the George Hotel where Billy's working. And he can bring you back. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's it, is it? No, that's oh, it. Right. Hey, kid, it's my drink. Ah, you took your time. I've got a touch of the runs. What do you prescribe, Doctor? Well, that won't cure it, that's for sure. Is that way at the morning now? Toradine for breakfast. Oh, lad. You found the bug then, I hope. Huh? You're going in the wrong direction, that's something last. Was it? Oh, aye. Oh, I see what you mean, aye. I found it all right. <laughs> Just in time. Come to our Jesse tonight. Aye, I'll be bobbing in later on. Hey, Billy, uh, what's going on in the posh end then? Toy ladies having a beano upstairs. Oh, aye. Looking for some. Where did Jack go? Up to the corporal. Oh. The meeting. He's got to check that everything's ready. He's looking after the speaker. What fell we had with him? That's Sandy Lewis. He's come all the way down from Glasgow. I said he could sit me mother's there. Have you got the meeting? Oh, I might pop in later. Having a busy night, aren't you? Hey, why don't you try popping in upstairs? I'll have a cockle van for that main course. What's your language? What's in the language up there, no? Sorry, I am to hear that Mrs. Evans is indisposed with the flu. Mr. Yes, Evans. it is a pity. And I shall do my very best to. Well, I'm sorry, excuse me. I shall do my yes. very best to take her place tonight. Yes, I'm sorry. Only temporarily, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure nobody would have any objection to your leaving your things in the ladies' cloakroom. No, oh, thank you, Miss Barrington. The gentleman's cloakroom seems piled to the ceiling with empty crates. Oh. On second thoughts, they might be full crates, considering what day it is, what? <laughs> 
Isn't that enough? How many are you expecting? I've no idea. You never know who might turn up. You mean they'll just call without saying beforehand? Yes. That's first pudding. Everybody's welcome just about everywhere. At home, we sometimes stayed up till midnight, but then it was straight to bed. You have no idea how to enjoy yourselves, you lot. I remember one year at my mum's, we had two complete strangers there. Nobody knew it till afterwards. Everybody thought they were somebody else's friends. Mind, they did a good turn. A turn? Turn. Party piece. Everybody has to do a party piece. I thought you'd know that. No. Oh, yes, Arthur Ashton. You'll have to rustle up a party piece from somewhere. No, no, I can't do anything of like that. Of course you can. A little song, a recitation. Song or recitation? Really, Jess, it's, I, I can't. It's no use protesting. You'd be a complete failure with your in-laws if you don't do a party piece. Oh, Lord. Barbarous tribal customs of the far northern territories. I know you. You've got hidden talents. Oh, Tom, where'd you get your dark paint? Hello, ma'am. Where is he? Back there. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, it's all right, mate. Hey, Billy, get the old man a pint, will you? Hello, ma'am. Didn't expect to see you here the night. Bobby, that down. Ah, look at him. He's got a face like a chicken's backside. Bad as that, is it? What are you doing, ma'am? Oh, no, thanks. I'm on my way to Jesse's. Go on, have a quick one on me. Ah, go on. All right, I'll have a quick glass of gin. Take that to your door. See if you can cheer him up a bit. Aye, all right. Here, yeah, dog, get that down here. What are you doing here? Same as you, having a drink. Oh, what do you call it? Oh, yeah, man, I've been you here. Yeah. Not like that. I don't know what he's doing. And that'll be very popular with well, him. Nobody's very popular with him. All right, I'll have a go. Good lad. Right, will you give us a whiskey for him for now? And you can take pay for another one for later on. Hey, look at that. Next week's housekeeping. Now, you give him that one, just before you leave. It might soften him up a bit. I might make him frightened drunk, though. Ah, we'll have to risk that. Risk what? Risk you breaking the chandelier when you burst into your jolly song. Here's something about your tonsils in tip-top condition. I'm away now. See you later. See you in the morning. Happy New Year. Come on, Mum. See you later. Hey, mind you bring your own poison. Ah, trust me. Hey, Dad. What did you mean, see you in the morning? Of course, the Conservative yeah. Club Day was a huge success, yeah. you know, Mr. Evans. Despite the inclement weather, personally, of course, I was soaked to the skin. But I still carried on, you know, carrying my box till it was full to overflowing. But that's me, all over. <laughs> you think it'll be a good turnout? No, it's pretty good. Doesn't look too promising. So it is, yes. Been a lot of propaganda about the independent Labour Party being revolutionaries and extremists. Oh, nobody gives a damn about that. You got a lecture on insect life in the Congo that come. It's the only entertainment they've got. <laughs> Sorry, I never realised it. Ah, don't take on. I enjoy it even more when it's in the same room. <laughs> That's nice. You, you see, I have a valuable Sunday morning and you never think when you... Ah, well, you carry on. I'll be joining in the choruses in future. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right, now, who's going to be next to give us a turn? And I thought to myself at the time of your invitation some months ago, Lady Chairman, that it would be very difficult not to make a very gloomy after-dinner speech. After all, it had been a very bad year. Indeed, it has been a very bad year for all of us. Yeah, yeah. But, of course, since then, we have had a Conservative government elected. And already, already you will have noticed a marked change. Even in the newspaper headlines. Last week, it was signs of trade revival. And only yesterday, I read, optimistic outlook for the new year. But beware, brothers. Beware of false prophets. Now, you'll hear these prophets talk of clouds with silver linings. The worst is over, they say. It's been a bad year, they say. But next year, we'll turn the corner. They seem to think that we are idiots, brothers. That we have short memories. But let me tell them. My memories are crystal clear. I remember the promises made in 1918 Aye. of better things to come. And you'll hear the same promises made next year. You see... The prophets have not really had such a bad time. 
And when they speak of better things to come, they're not thinking of us. No. The prophets are speaking of prophets. Where in the place do you think you're going? Why, it's such a cunning night. I thought we might take the long way around there. I want home the sharpest way possible. Oh, we might die. I fancy the walk. Turn this damn thing round. Oh, we might die. Something such a fuss. I'll give you fuss, you young monkey. No, then. Your mom put you up to this, didn't she? Close up to what? You must think I'm dim. We're on the way to old Jesse's. Are we? I suppose you're right. How do we the hell? Don't play the innocent with me. I don't know what you're talking about. That's enough, bunny lad. The fun and games is over. Take me home. The shortest way possible. I've got a nice bottle waiting. Yeah, I bet there'll be a few nice bottles at our Jesse's. To hell with our Jesse's. I want my own bottle in my own house. All right, all right, all right. I'll take you home. Hey, man, not that way. Billy, stop it, man. Stop it, you young fool. You'll have us home, man. Stop it. Go, man, if you don't stop it. And I hope that this year we have seen the last of coalition government. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I also hope that we've seen the last of Lloyd George. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure that we have seen the last of the Liberal Party. Yeah. But, but, let us not be blind, ladies. The tasks facing the Conservative government are large. And one thing I agreed with Lloyd George about, and I think perhaps it was the only thing, <laughs> was when he said, that the unemployed will not starve as long as there is a crust left in the national cupboard. Yeah, yeah. In other words, we hire ourselves out on the labour market to the highest bidder when we get the chance. Now, I can think of no other way of making cash unless I become a thief. And the penalties for theft are very high. So I have no wish to take up that way of life. So, I sell myself to make cash to live on. Now, can you imagine what I think when I hear Tories and Liberals accuse shipyard workers and coal miners and dockers of thinking of their own parochial concerns alone? We have no alternative! Inflation is a serious problem which cannot be solved overnight. Unemployment is also serious. Peggy O'Neill was a girl who could steal any heart, any place, any time. And I'll put you wise so you'll recognize that wonderful girl of mine. If her eyes are blue as skies, that's Peggy O'Neill. If she talks with a sly little moan, if she talks with a sweet little groan, sweet personality, full of rascality, that's Peggy I ever tell you I had a girl in my class at school? Peggy O'Neill. That's right, Peggy, Mum. We're not going to tell you. listen, that. yes. One day we was in the back lane with an apple each. We couldn't have been more than about six or seven at the time, mind. Well, the wasp started buzzing around us, and she got very frightened, you know. And she was waving her arms around her own, shouting, Hook her up, hook her up! <laughs> hey, she was. And a dad come out, and he says, Hey, Peggy, that's not nice. Little girls shouldn't say things like that. All you've got to say is, Show, show. No bugger off by the side! Oh. <laughs> Ma'am, honestly. No, this is out, this is out. Jesse, I'm showing you up amongst your new neighbours. I well, know, of course not. Are you going to give us a song? Oh, oh, no, 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 I'm not in the mood yet. Oh, how are you? Know, I'll do me turn, just leave it a little bit later. Uh, all right, Mrs. Seaton, I know how you feel. Here, screw your courage up with this. Oh, <laughs> you. Hey, hey, hey. When we're going to hear your party piece? I'm right. hoping they'll all forget about it. No, 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 get away like no, that. No, right, right, right. Now. Now's a good time as any after uh, you. Yeah, oh, well, well, you see, not, not everybody's arrived yet, and I, I feel as though my contribution might well be better received with as large an audience. Oh, listen to it. The headmaster speaks. Yeah, yes, well, you see, I'm not allowed to speak until the whole school's assembled. Oh. <laughs> no one can deny that there is enormous natural wealth in this country. Oh. Now, waiting to be attacked. And the wealth that we create, the wealth that we create is owned and controlled by a mere handful of men. But there are those in our country today who would squander that wealth in pursuit of their own selfish 
and parochial concerns. Thank you. There are still alone men who realize that their own interest is unimportant compared with the national interest. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> stand by for a vote you always hope for. Hey, you're going to get through on the chair. No, silliness, please, Mr. Redshaw. It's all prepared. Now listen. Isn't that pretty? You're top nerve. It's flat. Don't be so fussy. Well, all you've got to do is take a sip out of it. Hey, is that you know water? It's water, you fool. Ah, oh, well, she can have it. I'm not partial to water. <laughs> Satisfied, maestro? Perfect. Please continue. Thank you. What this way, man? And you'll break your fingers. I'll break every bone in your body. <laughs> and beware the phrases that trip off their tongues, like our British way of life. Our British way of life is their British way of life. There is not a bit of use talking as though revolution in this country is an impossibility. It is getting a little nearer each day. During the war, we held together bravely because the enemy was at our gates. Today, ladies, he is no longer at our gates. He is in the citadel. Thank you. How thrilled the girls were to have you here, Mr. Evans. Of course, no, I'm more thrilled than myself. Because I did enjoy it, I really. Oh, how good. Oh, oh, oh! And they'll tell you in these churches that we're all equal in the sight of God. Well, what the Independent Labour Party wants to do is to make us all equal in the sight of each other. Uh, and finally, brothers, finally, I'd like to recite you a poem. It's written by a friend of mine, a man called John Clark, who comes from these parts. Some of you may know it. The poem is called If. Now, there is another poem of that name, but this one is different and very appropriate. Keep your feet still, Johnny. Hey, 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 let's be happy for the day. Come on, we're not going to say happy for the day. So give us a day, come on. Keep your feet still, Johnny. Any longer. What's it going to be? Oh, 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 all right, then, all right. Oh. Um, I, I've got a little monologue that I, I found among my mother's things when she died. Mind you, it's a bit sad. Does that matter? No, lad, that's no better than a good cry. Oh. A good cry. Uh, of course, I haven't had time to learn it because Jessie didn't tell now, me about hold it. Come on, Arthur, stop beating about the bush. Mm, very well. Ladies and gentlemen, the ring. It is Christmas Eve. The snow lies deep, the bells ring loud and clear, and all around from cheery hearths such joyous sounds I hear. If you can rise at early dawn, say five o'clock or even half past four, and winter's howling snowy blizzard scorn in one mad gallop to the factory door. But there amid the encircling gloom, a figure I behold, ill-clad, ill-shod, quite ill-prepared to bear this evening's cold. If on such muck you labour hard all day, mid suit and stink and noisy wheels and belts, until your back is bent, your hair is grey and the brain inside your skull sags in and melts. He shuffles on this piteous wretch, cadaverous, skin and bone. He blows his fingers, stamps his feet, twould move a heart of stone. To see the hapless, half-starved crone come slowly to a stop beside the dim-lit window of an old pawnbroker's shop. If you can see your wife and kiddies lack the joys and pleasures you yourself create, for parasites who sit upon your back and view with unconcern their wretched fate. He pleads and pleads, good sir, I pray, take pity on my plight. My wife and darling children three 
will die this very night. I left them starving in our room, trusting in me to bring some sustenance. And all that's left is this, our wedding ring. If you can do these things with easy mind, and live and die in slums with swine's content, to every social ill be deaf and blind, and leave it all to God and Parliament. The broker, how I love the man, abandons business sense, and counts him out five shillings the thanks his recompense. There is but one thing left for you to do. For mankind's sake, go out and buy yourself a gun, and blow your rotten brains to bits. For you have got no guts, my son. But grateful in the street again, I hear the old man say, Hey, trade is looking up, my boys. That's twelve I've pawned today. Led you right up the garden path. Yeah. Eh? <laughs> I nearly skinned you alive and all. You just rescued yourself. <laughs> right, let's have another song. Watch your back this morning. Hello, my little sugar lump. That's your mother. She's right behind you. And the best of luck. Song, Come on. Well then, woman, this is your work, isn't it? <laughs> Drunk? Oh, I'm not. Well, not quite. Oh, how weird, man. Why don't you relax? Have a little drink and enjoy yourself. Eh? Now we're done. You the... keep on it. Now we're man, have a drink. Oh, look, man, I'm sorry you had to be dragged here. I just couldn't bear to think you were sitting at home all by yourself. Anyway, you're here now and... Trapped. Don't be daft, you're I not. I trapped. How can you be trapped at your own daughters? I'm trapped in this flame of oh, thing. Oh, Bill. Trapped like a bairn in a pram. Aye, well, you've got a better bottle than a bairn. Where did that come from? What do you mean? Fell off the back of a tram, I suppose. No, it was a present. Don't make me laugh. I'm a duck, you know. So who give you the present? Well, what difference does it make? It wouldn't be R.A.G. by any chance. Oh, good God, it's easier convincing a policy than convincing you. Aye, I've had more experience, but... Now, what's that supposed to mean? Now, listen, lad, you seem to forget you've been telling me stories since you were a four-year-old. I've had a canny few years' experience. Something away from the chap. Charlie Evans, eh? eh? Been doing jobs for him, have you? Helping the Tories now, are you? What do I care if he's a Tory or not? Do you never think about the bairn? It's because of the bairn that I'm... Stephen! No, ma'am. Do an extra job. Oh. Save him for Tories. I'd let her help them beat the bairn behind bars. Oh, shut your mouth. You miserable old git. Oh. You cheeky oh. fucker! Oh. Oh. That was some speech, Sandy. What do you think so? I was watching the faces. They moved. <laughs> Ah, but will they do anything about it? No, I wouldn't know. Where'd you get that fire in your belly there? Me? Ah, I don't know. I mean, my problem is wondering why other people don't have the same kind of fire in their belly. It's difficult to know where it's dark. Did you enjoy it? What? Having power over an audience like that. Oh, that's not power. Isn't it? I was watching. Oh, I don't think it is. Mind you, I do get some enjoyment. No, that's the wrong word. But I get, I get something when, when the point goes home. It's like drawing a bow and watching the arrow sink right into the bullseye. Thump. That's what it's supposed to be. And everybody cheers. No, leave that. Sit down a minute. Oh. Now, you've got it all worked out beforehand, haven't you? What? Everybody cheers. You mean Sandy Lewis needs the people's cheers? Oh, I didn't say that. What do you have? Whiskey or gin? How can you afford that on the dole? Private income. Which? What do you think? <laughs> Three and all. Private income on the dole? the other leg. Well, that's true enough in a way. All oh, right. Your landed gentry we're talking about tonight. What about? They paid for that. Oh, tastes sweeter already. <laughs> I do the occasional job for one of your big knobs, you see. Nothing illegal, mind, but I always make sure I look in for a bit more than they bargain for. But you don't uh, redistribute the wealth? I'm redistributing it now. Oh, get my hand in my pocket often enough. Well, I'm sure you do. But if you'd put your hand in your pocket for every member of the audience here tonight, how far do you think it would have gone? <laughs> I passed the first row. No, so when we start switching the wealth around, you see, we have to be a wee bit more drastic than that. Well, I wouldn't think that lot tonight could do much about it. I don't know. You seem to forget the Labour movement's on the march. Oh, aye. Yeah. Last year, we'd only 50 MPs. This year, we have 138. Give us another few years when some of these people stop voting Liberal. Labour will be in control. And you reckon that will make the difference? Of 
course. When I would cry and sing, Daddy wouldn't buy me a bow wow. Bow wow. Daddy wouldn't buy me a bow wow. Bow wow. I've got a little cat, and I'm very fond of that. But I'd rather have a bow wow 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 wow. wow, wow. Daddy wouldn't buy me. Oh, wow. 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 All right. Well, look at us. Can you tell I've been crying? Well, this doesn't look too promising. Anybody home? Oh, my son, you left about, is there? Could they all be out first, wouldn't they? No, I doubt it. Anybody in? Hey, well, I just wait here. Oh, that could be ours. What the hell is Billy playing at? No. Are you sure you've got the right house? Why, I man, I've been here a time or two before. Well, there's not here. There's only one place there can be, are we? Uh, hang on a minute. Well, Happy New Year, Jack. Aye, same to you. Here's the socialism. Here's to Jack Ford. Happy, Happy New, New Year, Year Jesse. Happy New Year, Jesse. Happy New Year, Billy. <laughs> and you, Arthur? Best of luck in the New Year, lads. We've got everything we need. Happy New Year, Mum. Happy New Year, 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 New Year, resolution. I've resolved never to plague my dear old father ever again and to do exactly as he says. Can we shake hands on it? Happy New Year, Dad. Get us a drink. Oh, well, you didn't get one yourself. Look, I love you just made a new year's resolution. Right, right, I'm sorry. It's good company. Yeah. Friends and neighbours, I'd like to make a toast. We'll make it a quick one, Pat, because the mince pies are nearly ready. It is a quick one, love. I just want to wish everybody a... Excuse me. Oh. My word, that was a quick one. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, I'll give you a toast. Here's to me mother's youngest bear. Come on, 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 Come he wouldn't say it, Oh, yeah, then let's get on with the party. Come on in. Yes, come on in, Mr. Lewis. Oh, oh Jesse. This is Mr. Lewis. Oh, sorry. Come on, come on. Come on, I'll introduce you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a friend of mine, Sandy Lewis. Now, I said he couldn't come in unless he offered to do a turn, so he's volunteered to sing a song. Oh, lovely. Come here. No, I, I, I can't he sing. You can, man. You've got to sing. Yes, you can. All Scotsmen can sing. All right. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll give you a song about the Prime Minister. No! There you go. I'll sing you a song of Bonalore and all that he's achieved. I'll sing you a song that it won't take long. <laughs> Sandy Lord, that was the champion, just what was needed. Very nice, Mr. Lewis. Mind you, he's only had a few weeks, Mr. Bonner Lord. Not much chance to do anything. I know, I had to make a quick switch, you see. First time I heard the song was about Lloyd George. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I was going to make a toast, but I made a New Year resolution not to make toast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, very wise. <laughs> How about you, Tom? You making any resolutions? What for, like? Mm -hmm. Oh, I see what you mean. Huh? Let's think. Uh... Ah, in the New Year, I resolve uh, to keep my fingernails clean. You mean it, I hope. Definitely. I'll put all the muck in my leak trench. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, uh, <coughs> my dad was just telling us he's made a New Year resolution in oh, order. Oh, oh, I. He reckons he's going to smile at all his customers, but he's got a bit out of the habit, so he's going to give us a practice run the night. What do you believe in? Oh, we do. Just a little, innit? Oh, don't rush it, Dar. <laughs> he's cracking. No, he's not. Oh, yes, he is. He's cracking. <laughs> hey, careful now, Dar. It might hurt the first time. <laughs> Easy, does it? <laughs> Just a little bit more, Dad. <laughs> oh, I felt that. <laughs> and again. <laughs> now just look at that. Oh, oh, we're giving you a beat. End of round one. Congratulations, Dad. You're up on points. Oh, well done, lads. That's a miracle. Nice and dad, that I know. Yeah, the devil's a pillow. Happy New Year. <laughs> now we're all cheerful. Maybe she'll give us Patsy Mulliver. Ah, oh, no. oh, come on, Dad. You smile. Nice to see you, sir. That worked a treat. Not bad, eh? Give me what you said. Huh? Keep your fingers. Keep... Fingernails, I said. I know what you meant. Do you know? Well, yeah, I don't know. Look, look, what more do you want? Jam on? <laughs> Listen, I can't do Patsy Mulliver without your Uncle Bob. How He's the only one that knows the other part. You never need Uncle Bob. What will you can do? Patsy knows it off my heart. Well, yeah. Well, I right. could try. Well, no, I can try. All right, then. Yeah, he's got to be. Excuse me, missus, I've just got to go here. Oh, well, you go then. I'll sit where you were sitting. And I've got a little something to put you in the mood. Back of the wardrobe. I've never had one of these before. Got something to complete the costume? That's a Bobby Dazzler. Nice. Right, now, settle down, everybody. Today we have had an unexpected visit from the school inspector. And he expects your full attention. And that means you. Me? Yes, you, Patsy Mulliver. Sorry, now then, boys and girls, I've come here today to find out how well you know your lessons. <laughs> but first of all, I'd like to know how well you know the alphabet. Can anybody tell me, what is the first letter of the alphabet? Please, Please sir, I don't know, know, sir. You don't know? Well, there's a surprise. Now, uh, see if I can be of any help. Ah, yes, I know. What is that stuff that horses eat? Thistle, sir. Who said that? Patsy Mulliver, sir. Patsy Mulliver, eh? Careful, lad, I've got my eye on you. Now, isn't that stuff that horses eat? Hey, hey. Yes, sir. So what is the first letter of the alphabet? A, sir. Very good, very good. Now we are getting on. Now, can anyone tell me what's the second letter of the alphabet? Please, sir. No, no, sir. I don't know. Well, there is a surprise. Now, let's see if I can help you there. Ah, yes, I know. What is that busy little thing that goes buzzing around the garden in summertime? Hedgehog, sir. Who said that? <laughs> Patsy Mulliver, sir. Patsy Mulliver, eh? Hold your hand out. Ow! You naughty boy. Isn't that busy little thing that goes buzzing around the garden in summertime? A B? Yes, sir. So what's the second letter of the alphabet? B, sir. Very good, very good, very good. Now, what is the third letter of the alphabet? Please, help me don't know, sir. I don't know. Well, can I help you there? Ah, yes, I know. What is it that I do with my pretty blue eyes? Squint, sir. Who said that? <laughs> Patsy, Patsy Mulliver, sir. Patsy Mulliver, eh? Hold your hand out. Oh! You naughty boy. Isn't what I do with my pretty blue eyes, C? Yes, sir. So, children, what is the third letter of the alphabet? C, sir. Very good, very good. Now, that's enough of the al alphabet for today. Let's see how well you know your geography. I know. Can anyone tell me what is the shape of the earth? Please, sir, we don't know, sir. You don't know. You don't know. Dear, dear, dear. Let's see if I can help you there now. Ah, yes, I know. What is the shape of my hat? Square, Square sir. Ah, yes. Well, I thought you'd say that. Well, that's the shape of the hat I wear on weekdays, but you've all seen me at church. Can anyone tell me what is the shape of the hat I wear on Sundays? Round, round sir. sir. Very good. Then can you tell me what shape the world is? Square on weekdays, round on Sundays. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Patsy <laughs> Mulliver, sir. Patsy Mulliver, eh? Hold your hand out. You naughty boy! Hold your hand out, you naughty boy! Hold your hand out, you naughty boy! Last night in the bedroom, I saw you with a nice girl in the bar. It was a lovely little girl. Bella! Bella! Somebody at the door! Hey, Bella! All right, there's somebody coming. Oh, who in the name of heaven can it be? It's a more. All right, I'm coming. Oh, oh my God. I'm sorry to get you out of bed, Mrs. Seaton, but I've got to deliver a summons. Throw it, Tom. No, no, it's for Mr. William Seaton. What's that? Summons for me? You'll be keeping your shop open too late, Mr. Seaton. What do you mean, too late? You're supposed to shut at eight o'clock. For pity's sake, man, have you got nothing now, better to do than... Don't blame me, Mrs. Seaton. He's been reported. I didn't even know the law me, sir. Who on earth had bothered me? Don't get me, stupid. Yeah, I suppose so, Mr. Seaton. I'm sorry, Mrs. Seaton. Was it that fella Tommy Hunter Street? 
I'm sorry, I'm not allowed to divulge. Well, what are we getting for that, then? Well, I don't honestly know. The sergeant thinks it'll be a small fine. What does small mean? Well, your guess is as good as mine. Oh, all right, I'll see that. Oh, happy New Year. <clears throat> Ta-da, Mrs. Do a thing like that. Hey, what's happening, Mrs? It's a summons. Another shopkeeper. Revival. Ah, uh, that fella top of Hunter Street. The Everton Sweet Shop. Where's Hunter Street? Top of the bank. Regular sweet shop, why he wouldn't bother. Well, you've been making cinder toffee? Oh, of all that. Happy New Year. Some say. Sing to the mummy, dance to the daddy, to the mummy sing. Thou shalt have the fishy on a little dishy, thou shalt have the fishy when the boat comes in. Thou shalt have the fishy on a little dishy, thou shalt have a haddock when the boat comes in. Thou shalt have the fishy on a little dishy, thou shalt have the bloater when the boat comes in. Thou shalt have the fishy on a little dishy, thou shalt have the mackerel when the boat comes in. Thou shalt have the fishy on a little dishy, thou shalt have the salmon when the boat comes in.